Are you struggling with free motion quilting? How about seven tips to help you get control over free motion quilting? First tip, we need to control the fabric. And one way we can do that is with quilting gloves, but not everyone likes quilting gloves, I get it. We can also use a quilting disc, we can use a quilting ring, we can use our hands. Either way, whatever tool you use, we need to be able to control the movement of the fabric. So if your hands are slipping, that needs you need gloves, a quilting disc, or a quilting ring. Tip number two, the right free motion foot. What is the right free motion foot? It's the foot that works for you. The main thing is that you want to be able to see what you're doing and where you're going. If the foot hinders your ability to see where you're going and where you are, maybe you need to try another foot. My preference is an open toe foot. Tip number three, we need to set up our machines for success. What does that mean? The right thread and needle combination, thread weight, and needle size matter. We also need to master tension. Don't be afraid of setting your tension. Tip number four. We also need a good working surface, a large surface. Many machines nowadays come with extension tables. Some will put their machine into a full-size table. A full-size table for a large quilt is even better. But if you don't have that, on a minimum, an extension table. What's the next tip? Tip number, I think this is five. Look at my hands. They are not far apart and they're not far from the needle. That's another control tip. If our hands are too far apart, too far from the needle, we're going to have problems with stitching out any design smoothly. Tip number six, we need to practice over and over again. And the frequency of practice matters. If you practice once every six months, it's going to feel like you're starting over again. Tip number seven, it relates to practice. Sometimes we can set aside time to practice, but that doesn't always work. So I recommend practice in real quilts, in real projects. Don't wait to practice. I'm Geraldine Wilkins, the Living Water Quilter. Thanks for watching.